Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, playing a 60 card non Yorian deck. Uh, so, this is a Sultai, uh, so green, black, blue. Uh, it's a mid range kind of ramp uh, casualties of war style deck. Um, so, I've seen some of these with Yorian. Uh, I took the original list off an MTGO dump, and I've been tweaking it all day. Um, currently five and two at this list. Uh, the one change I made before popping in here was I had Ritual Soot, um, but instead I put in an Ashiok. I want to test that out as kind of an attrition deck. Um, but basically what we're trying to do is control the board and then refill our hand with Hydroid Crisis, somewhat like the old uh, Return to or ga ra ga Guilds of Ravnica. Yeah, that's the set. Um, kind of Salt Eye list. Um, we have Uro for card advantage, Hydroid Crisis. Tamiyo and Ashiok can both fill our graveyards and find Uros. Ashiok also exiles. We have some questing beasts in there as well. And then on the top end, we can pump all our mana into like a big shark typhoon or casualties of war. Um, we have ramp in the form of growth spiral and then just a bunch of disruption, heartless act, rider as removal, cry and extinction event as sweepers that also exile. Extinction events been very, uh, very good so far, uh, especially against like Obosh decks, obviously, but um, just being able to say, like, I had a Uro out and I extinction event away my opponent's Dream Trawler while having Uro out felt really sweet. Uh, mana base is a bunch of duels and then uh, one Black Castle. Uh, there is 29 lands in this deck. So uh, you shouldn't get mana screwed, but I've had hands getting mana screwed. Um, sideboard wise, so main thing in the main board, there's no counter spells. Um, you're basically trying to out attrition your opponent with, like, multiple draw effects or two for ones in a way uh you have agonizing remorse on the side mystical dispute uh versus like controlly mid-rangey decks cry and then eat for extinction is more exile removal another extinction event so just a lot of exiles of removal um i like bringing in night pack ambushers for a couple matchups so against anything that plays at like instant speed you can force your opponent to react on their turn with the mana so then you can untap and play one of your big spells but if it goes unchecked, then you could usually win you the game. It's also good against like the Abosh decks and stuff like that. Just a 4-4 that can surprise block. And then this card has been absolutely devastating in some matchups. Uh, any of like the big Yorian slow decks, uh, 6 mana, we can usually cast this on like turn 4 or 5. And it just strips everything. It exiles their graveyard as well for all the non-creature spells. It's been really effective. I played against the Red Bull winning uh, blue-white control deck. And this card just absolutely dismantled them. Um, so I've been enjoying this deck. It's a kind of grindy style mid-range deck, which I enjoy playing. Um, not so much combo-y, but just trying to attrition your opponent out. So we'll see how it goes. Um, been on a bit of a bad streak lately, just trying to win. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, as always, if you do enjoy the content, I've been putting everything up on YouTube afterwards. If you're catching it there, if not, uh, it's live on Twitch. Um, if you can, drop a follow or subscribe on both. They're free and easy ways to help out the channel. Um, opponent goes first. They're on Luris. I think Extinction Event's fine here, and I'll keep this hand. Um, we're likely to draw into a land. Ideally, I do want an untapped land, so I'm going to lead on the Temple here. Uh, this hits both my colors. So this is likely the Cycling deck. So with Extinction Event, it's good. That's perfect. I'm going to keep the other Extinction event, I think. Next turn, I can Growth Spiral. It might be missing a line drop here. Nope. Also, just with our removal, Exiling is good. I have the Ashiok main to exile their graveyard. Really just want an untapped land here, ideally. Dranit Stinger. Let's just do this now, save time. Yikes. 29 lands don't hit your fourth land. Sounds magic. So I'm gonna exile on one. Okay, perfect. So 
get rid of this. We are a little precariously low here, but I have Uro to gain life if they commit more to the board. Okay, so we're just going to extension event here as well. Note they don't have any other creatures in the grave. We are dead if they have Zenith Flare though. Uh, let's go even here. This is actually, like I was joking, we have 20, yeah, they had the flare. Of course they did. A cycling deck not having flare. So Remorse is good in this matchup. Another event in the cries. Um, actually, Thought Distortion's really good in this matchup. Okay, let's see what we're going to cut. Nope. I hate this view. So maybe not the Remorse. Cry's fine. Murder Strider's fine. Ashiok's fine. Can probably get rid of Eat Extinction. This matchup, Shark Typhoon's probably too slow. Along with casualties. So maybe eat. Do we want the night packs? We're not really playing much. Let's just play eat. Just play all the removal. So we don't have anything like Soul Guide Lantern, but if we can keep uh like a heavy ramp hand, draw more than four lands when half our deck is lands. Okay, sounds fine. We can just get this going. Okay, and I have box on one. So unfortunately, this will probably get out of, maybe they get greedy here and they just play a two drop out. Okay, that's actually great because I can cry these away. Perfect. Looking for more lands here. Getting rid of two of their four foxes this early is good. Because next turn I'll be questing beast, ideally draw land, and then uh, play out the thought distortion. Perfect. So it doesn't really matter here. I'll probably take another green. Actually, we have the forest in hand. We are probably okay. So here, thought is the store. I might hold off on this and just go crisis. Crisis lets me refill my hand, and then I want them to get more things into the graveyard first. Like, these don't really bother me that much. This also lets me go over the top. Ah, so this situation is a little awkward. But if they drop something like Luris, I can uh, exile their Luris. I can go wide, but not really the end of the world here. Okay, so since we got Thought Distortion... Their hand's probably all action, so we can probably do a Thought Distortion this turn. Mind you, I just Krasis here. Yeah, we just Krasis. 
Because even if they have Zenith Flare, they need Land and Flare. They kill one of these, I just drop another Questing Beast. It's most likely Questing Beast that gets killed. If they don't, then I just murder Srider the Valiant Rescuer, and then we attack in, they gain four. Because they have two, they can have two more cycles. They gain two more life, that's 12. Actually, that's 14. So we're probably on the Thought Distortion plan now. Questing Beast being very good against... Oh! That's a nice follow-up. Could have exiled, but I think we do that this turn and then just rip apart their hand. This leaves them pretty dead on board. And they did. Much better showing that game. Um, on the play, do I want the remorse, is the question. I don't think so. I think we just run it again like this. I don't think Ashiok's actually that good. So maybe let's go... Let's go one remorse. I don't want too many counter spells because if they get to a point where they're just top decking, then it's not as impactful. I like to keep that hand, but okay, this hand's much better. So of note with Heartless Act, you need to do it before the fox gets too big. Um, here, let's put away the Fabled Passage. I think having the Krasis as just a mana sink, if we flood out, is good. If not, it's a way to... Okay. No Fox on one is bodes well. Okay. Let's get rid of Drana Stinger. Doing this now before they can gain life. Or they can uh, cycle in response. And if they're doing this and they don't have creatures, again, it's good for us. And this was part of the reason why I say we keep Krasis. If we flood here, we're okay. Um... I'm gonna get Questing Beast going because it puts him on a clock. And if they cycle a bunch to try to make this block, I can eat to extinction it. I want them to get committed to making this big enough to block. Actually, you probably just get rid of this now. I want to get my four points of damage in. The longer we let them, uh, the they dirtle, the better it is for them. Um, I think we graveyard that. At this point, I just don't want to get Zenith flared, so I want a way to exile their graveyard. They can hit me for seven right now. Four cards in graveyard. It also makes Uro closer to being able to be cast. I 
really want to land there. They have 11 that they could hit me for, 12. Yeah. Flare me for 12 here. I think we do this. Twenty-nine lands in this deck, and I can't hit a land. Because I want to make this a four-four to draw two cards. Okay, I cast Luris. Super annoying. Give me a land. Give me a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They can hit me for twelve. So I can Uro. Hit me for 12. That puts me up to 15, 17. So we're probably okay doing this. Fortunately, I can't also Growth Spiral. Just the power of mana came up. Just want lands. Uh, no, I think we want to try to find a way to exile their graveyard. Uro might give us enough of an insulation here. They can go three cycles. Okay. Put that into play tapped. One, two, four. I just don't want to pay the life. They have the flare. Now if they just have double flare, we're dead. One card off of Ashiok, which would have been great. Okay, 13 me, do they have it? They always have it. We are one card off there of the Ashiok. I think playing it out wise, even if we shocked twice, we would have still been off one. We got answers there. Because if we murder a Strider, we get through some damage, but it doesn't make a difference. Um. Playing against Yorian. Try this out. I want to try to find untapped land here. I'm actually going to keep that. That card's very good in this matchup. If this is the Jess guy. This was the Bant one. The Bant one's a bit tricky. I lost to this earlier. They have a good mix of threats.
think mana efficiency wise, let's just go Uro this turn. Both draw us a card, but that lets us play out multiples. Let's just go Fagal Passage here. We can sneak in early casualties. We can try to take them off the colored mana. They usually play Dovin's Veto in this deck as well. So if I do this, having just all these black sources is kind of annoying. Because I can't grow Spiral and play that. So hopefully we dodge the Veto here. We could have Dispute, but... Hey Max, how's it going? Got a veto out of the way. Kind of looks like we have dispute up, which is nice. No worries. Appreciate you stopping by. So I'm going to Shark Typhoon for four here. This deck's very good against aggro decks. These Yorian decks are usually a little bit of a hassle. I'd rather play the blue-white version. They don't have as many um, threats. So this is usually better after a Teferi, but they're also starting to play Tails End which stops the cycling trigger. And they can also have Brazen Borrower sometimes. Yep, of course. Okay, so... I think we just do this and pass the turn. Probably Brazen Borrower this turn. Just fine. It's a target for me to hit with uh, casualties. Game one, they're usually better equipped to hit us. So we have a choice here. I think I just growth spiral. get further ahead on mana it makes things like mystical dispute a lot worse afterwards okay we have extinction event so maybe we just do this and then cast Uro I basically want to bait out some counters from them been a bit of a troublemaker um so they could counter it so let's just go another Uro this turn they have open mana crisis is a nice threat because even if they counter it i refill my hand Scry, top bottom, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 
Um, let's get another green source. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So I think what we do, we can two, four. I think we wait a turn. So my plan is big typhoon next turn for seven. Hopefully find a land and then that way I can cast Uro, potentially get it countered and then also casualties of war them. Take them off the castle Vantress. Cause they have double green, they have double, they have enough blue. I'm not really worried about the three one. We have a lot of ways to hit it. The one thing that is a real consideration is us milling out. And they have extra cards compared to us. I don't understand how we miss land drops with all the extra cards we draw. Um, let's... I want them to kind of answer what they have here. Now let's just do this. X... Two, four, six, seven. Even if they counter it, we get to draw three cards. Tamiyo's actually nice here. Dispute it. Keep the land. I just want to have like the most amount of mana to do spells next turn. Okay, if they're popping that, that bodes well. If they're looking for an answer. Top, top. Not the most encouraging. Okay, so they have to ferry. Second Tamio. I think what we do is we Tamio, try to bait out a counter, because if Tamio resolves, it's good. If they Mystical Dispute, then I can cast Uro. This time I think I'd probably take them off like a breeding pool. We're given a consideration. You would make an excellent informant for my study. It's name Questing Beast. Let me aid your research. Bunch of lands in the graveyard. Do we just do... I think we try casualties here. Pick the land. Pick the planeswalker. Let's go. Okay, so they have the counter spell. I can pick it up with Tamio and then do it again. Here goes nothing. They had the counter anyways. Oh, violence is impolite. So Narset's probably worse against all my card draw. It's the one card this deck really has a difficult time with. Right. To 
you. So like that. Okay. I guess I could have plussed it to try to dig more, but I think I just want the sure thing. I know they have the counter, but we need to get it out of their hand. The fairy can't bounce me this turn, so. We'll do this. We don't get the card draw, unfortunately. Just really want a questing beast here. Questing beast to take care of that. We also have some removal. Tap's not working. Because now they just Yori and Blink. This also means Questing Beast doesn't draw us cards. Twenty-seven cards. We go through a good chunk of our deck. Both our cameos are gone, unfortunately. We do have two more casualties. We're only getting the singular draw, though. We're probably dead this game. We have another Brazen Borer. Phase shatter. Gross. Oh, we don't get to draw the card. We still get this back. I have learned all I can. Then I can also Krasis here. I'm just going to put out the Krasis as an attacker. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excited to get Mystical Disputed here. They may have another Shatter. They have two Shatters, so I'm gonna be quite upset. Guessing they play full four of. Okay, that bodes well. So this is going to likely be Teferi Bounce one. They could Teferi Bounce, they can Yorion, blink the whole team as well. Two Murderous Riders. I would like one of those to get this off the board. Game one's their favorite usually. I have Thought Distortion, I have the Discard, I have like Eat Extinction, even just stuff like Night Pack Ambusher, being able to go at instant speed. The Mystical Disputes also help when we have to fight over counter spells. Tanio, get back the Shatter. It is an honor to meet you. Do this Let's at instant this. speed. Okay, so let's go. Escape Earl. Wow, Arena 
is leggy. Um, I think we just pay here. I'm just gonna get these into my graveyard. So that way I can castle and not take as much damage. this also I don't need um why oh, they just have ECD of course they have ECD none of this wins the game though and we're at 32 life so once they present the clock then we'll concede but until then we're very much still in this Are looking for Sharknado. Neutralize. They're taking a very conservative approach. I've got time. Okay, so let's go. Planeswalker, land, enchantment. So it conquers death. The scry and Narset. Okay. That resolves, which is nice. This lets us draw an extra card for the turn. Cards out of twenty-two. I'll just throw this turn. I, I want to do this for like a bigger amount. I guess this is kind of worse because they can. Well, if they do Tamio, they need to bounce it back like they have to kill it and they may just have like another narset there's a lot of incidental life gain in the deck as well i've seen two conquers death out of them okay let just go conquers death Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I've done the hero thing thirteen. So let's do Okay, so there's their win condition. Thirteen. Fourteen. Let's do X eight. Ten. Still lets me murderous rider. I want to be able to kill this. Okay. Got Fifteen cards. So I've heartless act. I can't get to fairy off the battlefield just yet. I gotta do this now. So what I can do next turn, I could play out a Sharknado, try to bait a counter. Here we go. I also have Heartless Act for this Uro, so I can do that. This gets around. Elspeth conquers death. Casualties of War as well. Before 
So here I go. Blow this up, blow this up. Blow this up. I could have veto. I can still do it. So blow you, you, you. Is Narset or Teferi worse at this point? Probably Teferi. Okay, Omen. Gives him a blocker. Take the damage. Um, it's a shock. We have Shark Typhoon. We have two of them, so we could play around something like Brazen Borrower. Even if they have a board wipe here, we're okay. Because I have Teferi. Not really concerned about that. Two, five, six. 10, 12, so I can do two times four if I want to go two Shark Typhoons. We'll see. They bounce Hydra Crisis, then I know. They won't have an answer there. So doing two here, it plays around Brazen Borrower. I won't get the second draw, but I'm only at 13 cards, so it's fine. Yep, they're dead. They don't have a play. Whew, stole game one there. Uh, so we kind of transform here. The Heartless Axe could come out. Ashiox? Eh, Cry could come out. Do I want Extinction Event? Probably not. I like the Night Packs, like Questing Beast. Ashiok could come out. Probably trim a Hydroid Crisis. Probably trim an Uro. Gonna make a couple more cuts. So Ashiok exiles their graveyard so they can't get stuff back, which is probably good enough. But Ashiok also gets hit by counters. So maybe we cut it on the play. Shark Tornadoes, I'm gonna cut a casualties. They're gonna probably bring in more counters. If I have Eat, I want Murderous. Gets rid of Planeswalkers. Maybe it's just Tamiyo. Run it like this. Or maybe keep the Tamiyo. No, I think we cut Tamiyo. Actually, Night Pack just gets hit by... No. Nah. I think play draw, I want to be more aggressive with this. I'm unlikely to actually have Tamiyo resolve. Let's keep the sand. Go growth spiral into Uro. Then have eat for extinction up for Planeswalker. Both Spiral and Uro replace themselves. This also puts two cards in the graveyard. No, no, 
Narset. Happy to see no Narset. Sweet. So someone's getting Thought Distortion next turn. Burrow's nice because it's not something you necessarily want to counter. Second block source. So I'm going to hold the fetch for now to make it seem like we can have a blue source, but I am going to fetch a black source since we have so many breeding pools in hand. I wonder if we. Because Narsa could find one more thing. I wonder if I just eat for extinction at this turn. Let them take one more draw. I think we do that. <laughs> Such violence is upsetting. This is also nice because it fills the yard for Uro. I think they're missing lands since they didn't fetch. Thought Distortion puts the fifth card in the graveyard. This is the best scenario now. Clock is something to be mindful of in this matchup. We both are very grindy decks. So I probably do. See, I don't necessarily agree with this. Like, I guess you can set up your scry for the future turn. And we left them with a single land. Because now I just go big hydrate crisis and start running them down with that. Okay, so that's a mystical dispute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So since that's dispute, I'm gonna wait. Let's just cast Uro here. So if they conquers death here, then I could just untap and night pack ambusher. They play an Uro of their own. Still a ways away. They have three cards in the graveyard. Dodging Conquer's Death that turn is good. Hopefully we can bait a counter out here. If they have the Dispute, yeah, they do. Now we just have to hope this next card isn't also Dispute. Okay, since we put an extra land in, let's scry. That is something I'd like to draw. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. Oh, we have to do it for two more. Let's see what the glass casket there. So two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So with casualties, I'm not going to blow this up. It fuels, um, it 
It fuels their graveyard for Uro, which I don't want. Not enough yet. Um, did I just concede? All right. Not sure why. Well, we take those around these parts. Okay, so we went one and one. This deck uh, takes a while to play, so probably wrap it up because now Arena's giving me black screen. Um, the cycling matchup, we were close. They ran three Zenith Flares in a row, and we were one card off from Ashiok exiling their graveyard. So not worlds you can do in those scenarios. I think I'm six and three with the deck right now. Let's pull it up. Ah, it didn't update that one because it crashed. So, because Arena crashed halfway through. It didn't pull it up, so. We're 6-3 and three with the deck. Overall, pretty pleased with it. I'm going to keep running it offline, do some tweaks, but I'll update on uh, Aether Hub if I make any changes to it. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the support. Have yourself a great one.